I'm tired of this bullcrap. I'm done with it. This is borderline ridiculous. I want to be honest with you. I'm over it. I think they're ripping you off. Like, I get some of these brands have a cool aesthetic and a great design. Well, some of them. Some of them are just lazy with it. But the ones that do. But the problem is that some of you guys are over here dying to covet these pieces. So you save a whole lifetime to just buy one thinking that the grass is greener on the other side of the tax bracket. So for those guys, my friends, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to consider before you buy another hype piece item. I'm going to be comparing some of the most expensive hyped items. Everything from shirts to jackets to jeans. The whole line of an outfit and show you what you need to consider before you pull that trigger. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Let's start with number one, flannels. Probably the most famous piece in streetwear today that you can buy anything from $1,000 flannels to $10 flannels. So here I got two different flannels. On one side, I have a Fear of God flannel that cost me a thousand bucks. And then on the other side, I have a minimal flannel. This flannel I've had for about two to three years, not two, about two years. And it cost me 54 bucks. You've probably seen it in a bunch of different posts of mine. Now, if you love minimal as much as I do, right now they're having a early access sale just for you guys. That if you click the link down below, you can attain this early access. That their sales only going to go on from the 25th to the 28th, meaning you get first dips. But don't freak out if for whatever reason you're watching this after the 28th. They're also having a Black Friday sale that's going to go from the 29th to the 2nd. Both of these sales have massive discounts that you're not going to want to miss. When it comes to quality, the fear of God is made out of 100% cotton that is said that comes straight from Japan. Now, on the skin and when you throw it on, it does feel a little bit thicker than the minimal, but it's nothing that's out of this world, and especially it's nothing that's worth $950 more of. The minimal is a tri-blend made of rayon, polyester and viscose. Now, like I said, the minimal one does feel a little bit lighter compared to the Fear of God one, but something I can tell you from personal experience is that this minimal one I have owned for about two years now and it's still going strong, being washed and worn pretty much constantly. Number two, let's talk about t-shirt. Here, you got a basic t-shirt. It was 30 bucks. And then now you have an extravagant tee. This is from Saint Laurent and it cost five hundred bucks. When it comes to quality, well the basic one is made from cotton and bamboo blend which feels super luxurious and soft on the skin. And since bamboo is an antibacterial and biodegradable, I know it's way more expensive to produce than basic cotton. You want to guess what the 500 tea is? Well, the $500 tea is made out of just 100% cotton. So when you put them on, the feel is astronomically different. Cotton feels regular, sometimes a little bit on the rough side, especially when you wash it. A cotton bamboo blend feels like silk, ultra soft and luxurious. And as for quality, well, I could talk about quality all day long, but how about I show you? What we really care about is shrinkage or stretching. So here, we're going to measure both shirts before we throw them in the washer. Now, I'm only going to take one measurement because we want to make this quick. We're going to throw them in the washer, wash them at the same time, at the same temperature, with the same settings. Then, we're going to throw them in the dryer. Again, we're going to wait a little bit. Once that's done, we're going to pull it out and again measure as well. Notice the difference in shrinkage. The problem is that cotton naturally shrinks at a faster rate than bamboo does. This is why bamboo is more expensive. Yet you have brands out here charging you 500 bucks for him and some guys are willing to pay for this bullcrap just because of the brand name when in reality you're getting ripped off. This shirt, I'm telling you, does not cost more than $1.50, maybe $2 to produce and you're paying $500 for it. Number three, let's talk about jeans. On the left, we got a Miri denim, which is about 900 bucks. This is Italian stretch cotton denim made with hand abrasion. From what I can understand, that the left knee was hand ripped versus machine ripped. It also has Riri zippers and custom Amiri hardware. On the right, we have minimal X1 denim. It's 98% cotton and 2% spandex for a little bit of stretch and movement. These will usually sell for under 60 bucks. Now, if you notice them side by side, the fit and style is pretty much similar to the naked eye or to somebody that just peeps it, even somebody that knows about style, both guys look identical. They look the same and just as good. Quality? Well, they're both made of mostly cotton and I've had and washed both and again, the fit remains the same. They're just as comfortable. They have just enough stretch that you can wear it every single day except the price. Again, one is around 50 bucks. The other one is $900 and the beauty with the minimal one is that when they go on sale, you can get them even more affordable. The point is, boys, you should not be swayed by brands but instead you should be swayed by style. I've been saying 
this for years now. You can look amazing without having to spend hundreds of dollars. That's why I freaking love Minimal, our sponsor, and why I recommend them to you guys so much. If you're into streetwear, if you're into high piece wear or that grunge aesthetic, stop spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on pieces that really aren't worth it. Now the great thing with Minimal is that they're having a Black Friday. If you guys want to check out Minimal, they're going to be linked down below. Number four, let's talk about sweaters. Now sweaters is everything from pullovers to even hoodies. So we're going to be comparing both of them in, in this section. So again, here I got a Minimal sweater. I picked this one up about a few months ago. This one is about 30 bucks. I believe it's on sale right now and it's made of 100% cotton. And the next one that I have is a Balenciaga one. The Balenciaga one cost me $800. Now the fit or side by side style again very similar is that oversized trend very chunky outerwear or sweaters when it comes to that style so when you look at it from the outside it looks the same but hey some guys just love to flex. And finally, number five, let's talk about jackets. You see this jacket, I picked it up from Minimal. It's probably one of my favorites. I think they just dropped it, which is their Trucker Sherpa jacket. This one is 100% cotton on the outside, and I believe polyester fake Sherpa on the inside, fake wool. Now, this one was, I think, only 80 bucks. I think it looks amazing, and most guys that see it will probably think it's more expensive than what it looks. It also comes in black. Now, you got this jacket. This one is a Gucci jacket. This one cost me, wait for it, l hear this out. How much I love you boys and how much I spent for this jacket just to do this comparison video. This one cost me $6,000. You know how hard I work for my money? I, that's how much I had to pay for this. Just to prove a point to you guys. To the style itself, that embroidery or hand painting, again, it's iconic and anybody will be able to tell you're wearing Gucci, so if that's what you want, that would be your win. But overall, when it comes to the real style, which is just a Sherpa denim jacket, which is a little bit oversized, they look identical. When it comes to quality, obviously, Gucci is 100% cotton on the outside, and in the inside, it's 100% sheep's wool that's made out of the Sherpa. So, the Sherpa itself is a little bit softer, but if you're against using animal products, probably not going to be your pickup anyways. And in my opinion, it's not worth $6 thousand dollars especially when you're gonna only wear this for maybe two to three months out of the year and that's basically it for this week's video guys those are just a few comparisons of items that are super high-end that people covet with low-end items meaning that you can get the same aesthetic and stop wishful thinking for items that in my opinion they're just not worth it if you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, all the minimal products that you saw in this video, I'm going to have them linked down below as well so you guys can check them out. That's it for me today. See you next time.